Today we have the most hyped smartphone right now that is Moto Edge 50 Fusion and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks, hidden features and my take on this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. Firstly let's talk about the in-hand feel of this smartphone. It is very light weighted smartphone and it comes with a sleek design and curved display. This feels very comfortable and flagship level smartphone when you hold it and uh, it comes with 144 hertz refresh rate and up to 1600 nits brightness so overall the in-hand feel of the smartphone is uh, up to flagship level smartphone moto worked really hard on customization of the smartphone and uh, you can check these amazing features to customize your phone in this smartphone you can even customize your control panel uh, go to your settings scroll down and then click on home and lock screen there you will see the option of control center the first one is classic style that's the normal one if you select the modern style it will change your control panel and it will look like something like this so this one looks very cool you can customize it even further by clicking on this edit button here so you can change your control panel from classic to modern style you can customize the home screen uh, for that simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on home and lock screen there you will see the option of lock screen and then click on customize lock screen here you can change your notification style from list chip to bubble or you can change the clock widget you can select your favorite one so that's how you can fully customize your home screen and make it look really cool. The next feature will increase the lifespan of your battery. Go to your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Again, scroll down there you will see the option of optimized charging. Click on this and then enable optimized charging. Now it will learn the pattern of your charging and it will customize it according to that and increase the lifespan of your battery. Let's talk about some other battery features of the smartphone. Firstly, you will see adaptive battery. If you enable this, then it will limit battery for infrequently used app and it will help you save your battery. The next one is charge boost. If you want to charge your smartphone uh, very fastly, you can enable this. It's like flash charging. It will increase your charging speed, but it will also heat up your phone. So. Keep, it, keep that in your mind. You can also show battery percentage in your status bar. Simply enable this, it will start showing battery percentage. So these were some amazing battery features. Let's talk about some other features of this smartphone. This phone comes with multi-volume feature. Simply go to settings, scroll down and then click on sound and vibration. Again, scroll down and then click on multi-volume. Simply enable this. Now it will remember the volume level of uh, uh, various apps of your smartphone. It can even mute apps that you always mute manually. So now if you switch from one app to another, it will remember that volume. And whenever you will go back to that app, it will set it to that level. In the smartphone, you can't take a screenshot by swiping down your three fingers, but you can take a screenshot by simply tapping on the screen and hold it on the screen by three fingers. The next feature is my personal favorite, its name is Quick Launch. To enable this, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Again scroll down then click on Quick Launch. Now whenever you will double tap on the back, it will trigger customized action. Let's explore this. Now click on settings. Now select the action you want to trigger or you can even select any app you want to open whenever you will double tap on the back of the phone. Here I select recorder. So whenever I will double tap on the back of the phone, it will open the recorder. But the next feature, you can open your camera by just double pressing the power button. To enable this, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Double press power key, simply click on this. Now, by default, it is selected on none. Select launch camera. So whenever you will double press the power button, it will open the camera app. My next feature, you can turn on your flashlight by just shaking your phone like this. To enable this, simply go to your settings, 
scroll down and then click on gestures again scroll down and then click on fast torch simply enable this now whenever you will shake your phone like this it will turn on the flashlight and when you will shake it again and it will turn off your flashlight if you will long press your power button instead of opening the power menu it will open the google assistant app to change it to power menu simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on gestures scroll down there you will see the option of press and hold power button click on this now select the power menu now whenever you will press long press the power button it will open the power menu instead of that google assistant the next feature's name is sidebar. By this feature, you can access your favorite apps very efficiently and quickly. To enable this, simply go to settings, scroll down and then click on gesture. Here you will see the option of sidebar. Click on this and then enable sidebar. On the right side, you will see the little line that is your sidebar. Simply swipe to the left and it will open your sidebar. Now you can customize your sidebar. You can add your favorite app or you can remove the apps you don't use a lot now click on this minus icon to delete the apps from sidebar or to add anyone simply tap on the favorite app after that click on this back icon so whenever you will whenever you will swipe from the left of the sidebar it will open your sidebar and you can access your favorite apps very efficiently the next feature is edge lighting as this phone is in curved display whenever your phone is upside down the edge lighting looks really cool to enable this simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on display again scroll down there you will see the option of edge lights firstly enable this and then click on settings now you can select the color of the edge lighting you can select uh, for what action you want edge lighting if you want incoming calls then enable this if you want for alarms or app app notification as well simply enable this as well so whenever any call will come it will show that edge lighting and this effect looks really cool this phone comes with 144 hertz refresh rate but by default it is selected to auto to select it to 144 hertz simply go to the settings click on display and then click on display refresh rate select 144 hertz now your phone's refresh rate is the smoothest but it will consume your battery a little bit more as i told you earlier when it comes to customization this phone is unbeatable you can even customize your phone font type to customize it simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on font here you can select your favorite font you can even customize your fingerprint animation simply tap and on, tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize scroll down and there you will see the option of fingerprint animation now select your favorite one and whenever you will press uh, your thumb on the animation of the sensor it will show that animation when the next feature you can use two apps at the same time in a single screen the features name is split screen simply open the apps you want to use and put it in recent now put the first tap in the recent and then tap on the apps icon there you will see the option of split top click on this and now select the second app you want to use now you can use two apps at the same time in a single screen now let's talk about some of the default apps that comes with this smartphone that are pre-installed by moto the first one is uh, moto secure in this app you can lock your apps you can hide your photos and videos as well as you can see your security hub for data protection and privacy you can hide your photos videos and lock your apps as well the next one is family space this is like creating a, a dual space of your smartphone so whenever you are giving your phone to, to your children or uh, to someone else you can create a different space so whenever you, they are using your phone, they will be able to use that specific apps uh, that you have selected in family space. The next one is Moto Unplug. This is just like focus mode. You can set a time limit to the apps that you use a lot. You can set a specific time uh, of the day. So you can use those app to that particular time. So the last one is... Um, 
ready for by this ready for so by this feature you can instantly connect your phone to your favorite device uh, for example of your computer your tablet so you'll be able to stream work and share by this feature so this was moto edge 50 fusion smartphone and these were some amazing tips and tricks of the smartphone if you like this video then subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next one till then have fun